12 startups, one goal, to make it to the April 5th final round of the 2013 Cupid's Cup Business Competition. It's sponsored by Kevin Plank, founder and CEO of Under Armour, and hosted by the Smith School's Dingman Center for Entrepreneurship at the University of Maryland. The semifinalists traveled from around the country to Under Armour headquarters in Baltimore. They spent the day pitching their businesses and interviewing with the investors, entrepreneurs, and executives that served as judges. All new, a spot in the finals offers a chance to win $70,000 and the ultimate prize, exclusive access to Plank's network for an introduction that could catapult their business to the next level. The day started with teams delivering their pitches to judges in two rounds, split among three rooms at Under Armour's Innovation Studios. With each room showcasing new products and technology, just being at Under Armour was inspirational. The fabric of Under Armour is innovation and technology, and so I think for, the, uh, for all of the companies to pitch their businesses while surrounded by uh, the kind of entrepreneurial story that Under Armour is just fits perfectly. Even with the colorful surroundings, the entrepreneurs stayed focused on their eight-minute pitches and four minutes of tough questions from judges. David Marriott from CoverPlay Audio. There's something exciting about getting up and telling people about your business, um, especially to professionals who have done this. And, uh, they had great, great ideas. In fact, I came away with names of people to call from the different, different judges. They had a lot of great advice for us. I think it's a great opportunity just to be here. It makes me define better what my business does, uh, what I need to do to be successful. It's, it's been awesome. The entrepreneurs had a chance to do some valuable networking at lunch. Phil Weiner from Earthstarter. I thought today was an educational experience, um, and this is our first competition, so the ability to network, especially with guys from the innovation team at Under Armour, is amazing. Then it was off to the afternoon's lightning round. Semi-finalists each had one minute to deliver their company's elevator pitch in front of all 12 judges. This was followed by a round of one-on-one -on -one interviews. The experience was a bit like speed dating, with teams rotating to the next table when a buzzer sounded. What did the entrepreneurs think about the personalized interactions with judges? Intense, in a good way. Such different personalities would be, you know, some people, they're all asking pretty poignant questions, but some, you know, are, it feels like they're a little bit more aggressive, others are like kind of there and they're like re encouraging you and affirming you throughout it. The judges then had an hour to deliberate, weighing their impressions from the lightning round with scores from the morning pitches. Meanwhile, the entrepreneurs had a chance to meet Kevin Plank and even deliver an impromptu final pitch. They gathered around Plank to listen to his words of wisdom on building a business and advice on the competition. The one thing that will come across in this competition or any other, it's not the competition. The competition is your business, the competition is your customers. Right? This isn't about winning or losing, this is about you gaining the experience to be a better entrepreneur, to be a better leader, to be able to build your business into a profitable company that can employ people and do good. And as long as you have those components to it, you're going to win. It was Plank who announced the six finalists. They'll pitch to judges and an audience of a thousand in College Park on April 5th. Even companies that didn't advance got a lot of value out of the day. I'll apply for Cupid's Cup and compete in it. The experience is incredible. It really makes you think. It gives you new perspective. You can make contacts. Even if you don't win, you might make some new contacts, have a new approach, think of new ways to handle your business. And it's been incredibly invaluable already. And for those that made it, the finals promised to be exciting. Now we have six uh, very, very qualified, passionate entrepreneurs who will have a very, very tough competition on April 5th. Who will come out on top? You'll have to join us to find out. To register, visit cupidscup.com.